Hey, what's up followers? Dave here from CNC3D. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a very handy tool which is built into our CNC3D Commander software. And that is our CNC3D ESP32 programming tool, which is basically designed to allow you to easily update the firmware on an ESP32 based controller. Um, now this applies to all ESP32 based systems. Um, and platforms, so you can probably use this for that, but it does work extremely well for ESP32 based uh, GRBL controllers like the X-Pro V5 and also for Fluid NC. Um, now, in this case, what we've done is we've basically just loaded some X-Pro V5 firmware that has the common door closed issue, which uh, basically won't allow the software to connect unless the door is actually triggered. So if we go ahead and we're just gonna bring up our raw data window here within Commander, I'm just gonna bring this into view and we're gonna to try to hit connect and you can actually see this, this issue occur. So we've just tried to connect. You can see that we're trying to send the dollar sign I to get the value from the actual controller. And basically now we have a message check door and it will not proceed any further. Now, quite a few of you have encountered this issue and it has actually locked you out of being able to access your firmware because of this door trigger. So there is a solution to fixing this issue. And basically all you really need to do is use our ESP32 tool. So I'll just minimize this window. To find the tool, if you just click on the help button within Commander and go to the CNC3D ESP32 firmware tool, and you will immediately notice there is this warning here. Now, this is very important. You have to make sure that you are going to load the correct firmware that suits your specific controller. Um, otherwise, it may cause extremely undesirable results and may actually even damage your controller itself. So just be careful when choosing the firmware for your specific controller. We definitely would not recommend trying to load Nighthawk firmware onto an X-Pro V5 because we have seen this and it does cause catastrophic results. So please make sure that you definitely choose the correct firmware for your controller. So we'll just say yes to here. And this will now load up the uh, CNC3D ESP32 firmware tool. Now it basically has two options for doing firmware. You can either choose to upload your firmware via COM port, or if your existing controller, like your X-Pro V5, is connected to your network already, then you can actually choose to use the IP address and do it remotely via Wi-Fi. Now, we currently have it connected up on COM11 here on USB, which is a really good fallback in case your Fluid settings, like if you've loaded Fluid NC and you're having difficulty uh, getting it to work or you have the, the uh, invalid uh, door firmware on there, USB is a really good fallback that will work regardless of the state of the controller itself. So if you need to recover firmware that, that has massive issues, then definitely choose the COM port option and connect up via USB. Now, all you really need to do is choose the correct COM port. It is important for you back in the main commander window to make sure that it is not trying to connect to your controller or hasn't established a, a connection before you do this. We're just gonna click on browse here and you can see we have a couple of different firmware options. Now, the firmware that seems to cause the issue with the door is this one here that has NC at the end. So instead, we're gonna choose the NO option on here. And let's just go open. And then all you need to do is just click on start and it will basically go through and load on the firmware for you. So what we'll do is after this process completes, we're just gonna reconnect back in Commander again and we'll see whether or not it actually works. So that is almost finished now. Perfect, so now we can just hit close down the bottom here and we'll close out of our help window. And now let's just go ahead and try to connect to our controller and look almost straight away, we can see that it has connected directly to the X-Pro V5. And of course this controller was already on Wi-Fi, which means it has retained all of your previous settings that you had saved in your controller. Um, which means that you can basically continue on as normal. It would be a good idea just to double check your configuration and your settings, make sure your axes are moving the right distances, make sure they're going the right direction. 
but this should really keep the existing information on the actual controller itself. So that is basically how you can use our ESP32 tool. Now, if you just wanted access to the tool without downloading and installing Commander, it is actually available on our Nighthawk support page, which is at cnc3d.com.au forward slash NHC. And you can download this as a standalone version of this tool. It is in a zip format. Um, so basically when you go and download this file, you will just need to extract all of the files out of the actual zip file. Um, and then you should be able to just run the tool from within there. So I hope this video has been helpful for you guys today and can hopefully help you guys fix issues with your X-Pro V5. Or for those of you that have tried to roll forward to Fluid NC and found it a little bit cumbersome to actually get your settings to work and you want to revert back to your existing firmware and for some reason it won't let you do that, uh, you can recover that within the CNC 3D ESP32 tool. I hope this video has been helpful and have a fantastic day everyone.